Hi, this is Lebo Khamukwe of Business Day Financial Mail. We're at Melrose Arch in Johannesburg for PwC's latest asset management report. Mega trends aren't necessarily specific to the asset management industry. Um, they're really, really big changes that we're seeing in the world that are going to affect uh, all industries, all sectors. Project Blue was really trying to look at what are the mega trends shaping the world of tomorrow and start to reflect on, on what those mega trends actually might mean. We looked at the aging populations, primarily in places like Western Europe, um, and the impacts that's having on uh, on economies, uh, but also the uh, the rise in middle class um, that we especially see in the emerging markets and the uh, the mass affluence that we're starting to see come through, um, as as well as you know people's you know, attitudes to family structures and belief structures, etc., and how how these trends uh, sort of impacting financial services. Technology, uh, 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 sort of a, a coverall for a lot of things going on, but really looking there at some of the disruptive technologies we might see, um, and the continued innovation in technology, uh, both in terms of data, um, as well as in terms of how we're interacting with people, etc. The role of the state in directing capitalism, in sort of um, building up rules, regulations that really directed the capital markets into how they deployed their capital. And on the flip side, it's obviously the rise of the uh, sovereign wealth funds and the impact that they're having on the broader financial industry. Um, the US, China and the UK, interesting, are the main focus for asset managers targeting countries other than their own. From a South African perspective, the main focus would be the other African countries. And um, often um, we have seen our financial services entities going into the developed world and because the, of brand recognition, if they are not then so well um, accepted there and the way they would rather prefer to go into developed ter territories will be through um, joint ventures. Regulatory compliance have been the main barrier to, um, to expansion and also restricted to entry in the market which they want to go in. Now you would know that traditionally in South Africa we've had our CIS legislation for a very long time, but we've not had all the focus that the banks and then um, the insurers have had. South African marketplace have cited in their response as a concern is access to distribution. The reason for that is, again, how do you reach the market segments of the lower income group in this country?